Zoom, position, rotate, pitch, your flip. These are the transform controls within DaVinci Resolve. And here's everything you need to know about them in five-ish minutes. Because this is Five Minute Friday, where every week we spend five-ish minutes, as long as it's less than 10 minutes, it counts, if you ask me, messing about, learning, having fun, and just being a bit silly in DaVinci Resolve. So if you find this video useful, make sure to subscribe because next week we're going to be animating these controls using keyframes. So let's start the timer, jump into DaVinci Resolve, and let's go. Pa pow So here we are on the edit page within DaVinci Resolve. Now the first thing we need to do, make sure we're looking at the same thing. So I'm going to close my inspector, top right hand corner, just click inspector to make sure that that's gone. If you see two preview windows here, click on this little icon, toggle, oh, secret bunny, to toggle between single viewer and double viewer mode. We just want to be on the single viewer mode like so. Then if that's all set correctly, just open your inspector again, your screen should look like this, and now we're looking at the same thing so we can get cracking. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag some footage onto my timeline and this is what we're going to work with. If we give it a click, so it's highlighted red, and then we've got the inspector open on the video tab, we can see transform and we've got all of our transform options within here. Now there's two ways to transform within DaVinci Resolve using the controls within the inspector or using the on-screen preview controls. So to access those underneath your preview window, click on this little drop down and then click on transform and you'll see the controls on screen like so. So from the inspector, we have zoom. All you need to do, you click your mouse within the number and then you drag left and right to zoom in and zoom out. You can see by default they're linked. If we untick this little chain icon, we can then control them independently like so. To reset, we can either use the little reset icon on the right or we can just double click on the actual word. So the word zoom, and that'll reset to the default. Alternatively, we can use the on-screen controls for the zoom. So I'm gonna click and drag on this bottom little corner. We can go in to make it smaller, out to make it bigger. If we hold shift and then grab, we can do this without it being locked and we can make it any aspect ratio, any size we like. Alternatively, you could just grab one of these side ones and drag in and out as we need to. Let's just reset that. Position works in very much the same way. We drag left and right on the X and Y to move up and down, left and right. Alternatively, once you've got these on-screen controls turned on, you literally just click and drag and you can move around. So we can resize, put it in a corner for a picture in a picture, and it's really easy to quickly resize and drag things around. Next, we've got rotation angle. Again, we just drag left and right to rotate this. To do this on screen, there's this little line with a dot at the top. If we click that dot, we get the circle, and then we can just rotate this around. Now, if we make the circle smaller by dragging our mouse in, we can rotate really quick. But if we wanna be super accurate, make this circle bigger, and then we can be really, really precise with our rotation angle. Next up, we have the anchor point. Now, the anchor point is actually that little dot in the middle, which if I drag left and right, you can see it moving around. Alternatively, we can drag it on screen and shift it about like so. What the anchor point is, is essentially the point that we're rotating around. So now if we rotate, we're rotating around this point here rather than rotating around the center, which we were doing previously. Then we've got the pitch and the yaw. Now you have to use the controls within the inspector. There isn't any on-screen controls for that. The same goes for the flip and the vertical flip where it flips vertically like so. Now, if you need to reset all of these controls, obviously I've made a big mess of this. Click on this little reset icon in the top right-hand corner to reset. Job done. Now another neat trick, you can actually transform things before you've added them to your timeline. So let's take this PNG. This is a YouTube logo. If I drag this onto my timeline, you can see it's gonna be big in the center of the screen. If I need to add this at multiple different points along my project, I don't wanna to have to resize it every single time. So all you do, double click within the media pool until it appears on your preview screen, and then we can just transform it, change the position, get it wherever we want it. So I want this in the top left hand corner. And now whenever we grab it from the media pool, it's always going to be in that position by default. Now you can also do that for multiple things at once. So I'm gonna double click on this little fella in my media pool, and then I'm gonna hold control on my keyboard and also click on the bunny. So they're both highlighted in red. Now we can just go to our inspector, change our zoom and our position and our rotation, do whatever we want. 
Now, if we grab them both, put them on our timeline, both will have those transforms applied. That's super handy if you've got a bunch of items within your media port and you want to resize them all in one go. And for my last quick tip, if you need to copy and paste the transform settings, all you need to do, give the thing you want to copy from a click on your timeline so it's highlighted, then hit Control and C on your keyboard to do a copy. Select the thing you want to paste to, so I'm gonna to paste to this video down here. We'll give that a click. Then I'm gonna hit Alt or Option and V. This Paste Attributes box will appear. Then all we need to do is tick all the boxes of the things that we want to copy. Or if you just want to copy everything, we're just gonna tick this Video Attributes and then click Apply. And that's gonna copy everything to the thing we selected. Editor Alex here. Nailed that, didn't I? Right on the money, five minutes done welcome to five minute friday folks hey five minute friday done i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to catch me next week where we're talking about keyframes and if you're from the future the video is probably linked up here somewhere take it easy see you next time bye